Hi guys, so today I will be showing you how to make these two water bottles for a teacher appreciation gift or a back to school gift for teachers. Both of these water bottles were super easy to make and all you need are the water bottles in addition to some vinyl. So let's jump right in. First, what you want to do is get the free SVG files from my blog, InsideOutline.com. Once you get there, if you're not already subscribed to my free resource library, you'll see a pop-up and you want to sign up to that free resource library so you can get these SVG files and many more for free. Next, what you'll do after you have downloaded those SVG files is come over to Cricut Design Space, click the upload button, upload image, and browse. And so I'll be showing you how to make two different water bottles. One of them is personal. And I just use my name for it. Um, my last name is Bird, so I just click Bird. And then the other is a water tracker that you could, you know, anybody could use and it's not uh, personal or specific to anyone. So first I'll just do the Miss Bird file. So I'll click open. And you can see what that looks like. And I did get this font from defunt.com and it's called the July It font. And I'll be sure to have a link down in the, in the description box below for you. So next I'll just click the upload button, click on that SVG file, and then click insert images. And I'll just move this over to the side. And then I'll go back and upload my other SVG file. So I'll click the upload button, upload image, browse, and then click on that back to school water tracker, and then click open. Now, as you can see on my screen, um, everything is grouped together except those lines, and I'm not sure why they would not group together. I created this SVG file in Adobe Illustrator, and I'm not sure what was going on with that. Um, but once I get inside, you'll see how I um, switch up everything to make it the way that it should be. So now I'll click the upload button, click on that image, and then click insert images. So my Miss Bird file is already um, ready to be cut. I'll just need to resize that um, for my water bottle. And I'm going to change the width to be 4.25 inches wide. And then I'll just hide this SVG file for now. Next, I'll start working with this SVG file. And as you can see, I do have two different SVG files within this one. I'll just ungroup it so you can see it a little bit clearer. So over here, you have the start time at 8 a.m. and goes through 5 p.m. Over here, you have a 7 a.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. It doesn't matter which one you use. Um, it's your preference. And you can also see the apples down in the middle. So I'll only choose one of these, and I'll just go with the 8 to 5 o'clock. So I will hide this one, or you can delete it as well. I'll just delete it to clear out my layers panel. Okay, next what I want to do is to ungroup this design. And then as you can see that refill is down below. So I'll click the ungroup one more time, select all of these lines and move them out of my way. What I'm gonna do now is to select each row and group everything together. And the reason I do that is because all of this uh, needs to stay together. So each row needs to stay together. Okay, now I'll just drag all of that, come back over here, and then just place these lines in there anywhere. Um, at this point in time, it doesn't matter um, if they're even or lined up or not. We just wanna get them over there and then we're gonna increase the size of this overall design. So I'll select everything and increase the size. And what I want to do now is to select everything, go up to a line and then click center horizontally. Now, as you can see, everything is now center. The only thing that you need to do now is to make sure that there is enough spacing um, from top to bottom. And then also dependent on the size of your tumbler or water bottle, you may want to add even more space. Um, for me, I think the height that I'm going for is about 4.25 inches. Um, or 2.5 inches wide. So obviously this is way larger than it needs to be. So I'll scale it down and then I'll just zoom in for you. 
So if you want to, you can change where these um, lines are underneath the apples or underneath each row. You can also select the text and the line and change it to where you want it to be. Okay, once everything looks good, you again want to select everything, align, and then center horizontally. Once you're ready to cut, you will select everything and then click the attach button so that it will cut the way that you see it on the screen. And because this vinyl will be a holographic purple color, I'll just change this color to purple. Next, I will turn back on this Miss Bird. And again, this one is um, 4.25 inches wide. And I want to make sure to attach this design as well. So next I will go over to the Make It screen or click the Make It button. And you can see my projects are sorted onto the different mats. I'm going to move both of my designs to the upper right corner because that is the stickiest side to my um, mat. So then I'll click the continue button. Now my computer is going to connect to my Cricut machine. And then I will choose premium vinyl, um, especially for the first um, SVG file. For the second SVG file or second design, I will be using holographic vinyl. So I will be sure to come back and change that vinyl. Now I will hop over to show you the materials I use for this project and start making these water bottles. So these are the materials that I'll be using to make these water bottles. First off, I have my two water bottles and I got these from Walmart and they were both a dollar each. On the bottom, you can see where it says to hand wash only. So I have a purple one and a blue one. On my purple one, I will be using this holographic vinyl and you can see that looks really good. That's gonna look really good together. And then on my white water bottle, I will be using, um, or on my blue water bottle, I'll be using this white vinyl. So what I want to do now is to take my mat. Take my mat, put my white vinyl down first, and I'm putting it in the top right corner because this is, um, the most sticky side of my mat. And as you can see, I do need to clean these mats or clean this mat. So then I will load this into my Cricut machine and cut out the design. Okay, so my design has been cut into my vinyl. And now I will just trim off some of the extra vinyl. And I can use that for a different project. I'll take my weeder and weed out the design. So as you see, it looks like I'm gonna have to cut that apple out again because a piece of my vinyl got stuck on there. So I'm gonna do that and come right back. Okay, so I am back and my apple has been cut. So it will go something like that. Now what I want to do is to get my transfer tape and this is a roll of transfer tape that I got from Expressions Final and I've had it for a while and it's still getting the job done. So take my weeder to pull up that corner. Okay, so I put my vinyl back on this paper and I did that because what I need to do next is to um, clean off my bottle. So I do have some alcohol and I have a napkin. And you do this so that you can make sure you get off any um, dirt from your fingers, grease, oil, anything like that, lint. I'll let this dry for just a second. And to speed up the dry time, I'll just take a micro microfiber towel and then just wipe it dry. 
okay now I'm going to take my vinyl and I did use Orcal 651 vinyl take my water bottle and I'm going to try to get this decal lined up just the way I want it And most times whenever you're applying vinyl to a round surface, you can slit um, or just cut slits into the vinyl or the transfer paper. And that just allows it to lay smoother. And this is what the final design looks like on my water bottle. And if you wanted to, you could put something on the opposite side. But this is what that looks like. So now I will be moving on to my purple water bottle. So take my mat and I'll cut some vinyl. So I think my design is about four inches. So I'll just cut. Okay, so my design has been cut into my vinyl. Before I start weeding, I'll just take the same napkin with the alcohol and wipe down my water bottle and set it to the side. Take my scissors and cut off some of the excess vinyl. And now I will start weeding my design. Now this will be pretty, pretty tedious. Um, but I'll just hold it up there so you can see what that will look like. I think that that's going to look really great. So, because I know that this will be pretty tedious to weed, I'll take my X-Acto knife and just cut across so that I won't peel off the vinyl as one large piece, but I will peel off the vinyl in sections. So, I am finally... Finally, 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 finally done weeding out this um, vinyl. One thing that I did forget to do is that I forgot to put my Cricut machine on the premium vinyl holographic setting. So I just left my Cricut on um, the premium vinyl setting, but I changed it um, and it was after the fact. I went back to see if there was a setting for holographic vinyl. And there was and you uh, you can also change the setting um, so that it can add more pressure whenever you're cutting a holographic vinyl because holographic vinyl is a little bit thicker than regular vinyl and so you need more pressure whenever you're cutting it I truly don't know if the holographic setting makes any difference but I would def definitely recommend doing that um, it just took a little bit longer because I had to guide, you know, as I was peeling back, I had to hold down the um, the different sections of the vinyl. So overall, this is what it looks like and it looks really good. And this water bottle is about to look even better. So what I'm going to do now is to get my vinyl. And again, I got this vinyl from expressions vinyl i got my um holographic vinyl from a local um store that sells vinyl and it comes in a really long um roll and it's cheaper than what you can get the cricket vinyl um, i also recommend my vinyl direct to get your vinyl um, and expressions vinyl as well they have um holographic vinyl and a lot of different types of vinyl As I mentioned before, you can also cut slits into your um, into your vinyl if you want to. And now I'm looking at this, and I have somehow lost my one. <laughs> so 
So obviously I'm gonna have to do that over again. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Oh my goodness. Wow. Now I'm going to cut out my one. Okay, so I have my one and you probably can't see it because it's super small, but I'm going to place it on my water bottle. So this is what the final water bottle looks like. So this is what both water bottles look like side by side. These water bottles make the perfect back to school gift for teachers or teacher appreciation gift. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel.